Welcome to Coffee Time Talks, a late night one, so you might want to keep the coffee for tomorrow. Um, but however, today we celebrate the feast of Saint Winifred, the Welsh saint who is wrapped up in mystery and legend somewhat from the seventh century. I love Wales, I love the spirituality of Wales. And uh, this is a story that is just so wonderful. It's actually the oldest pilgrimage site in the United Kingdom. And um, it's in Hollywell in North Wales, or Holy Well, if you like. And indeed, there is a Holy Well there. And it's been continuously a place for pilgrimage since the seventh century. What makes St. Winifred so, or Gwyn Fury, Gwyn Fury, shall I say it, try my Welsh a little bit, what makes her so special and a saint is that um, the Welsh uh, local lord, uh, Kyriak, was uh, trying to persuade her to marry him and uh, this was in 660 AD so we actually have a date for it and this chieftain severed her head off because she refused to succumb to his advances and uh, but a spring rose from the ground from the spot where her head fell but later, her uncle, St. Bunio, healed her and uh, restored her to life, presumably with her head as well. And that healing spring at the site of her death is now a shrine and pilgrimage. And some people call it the Lords of Wales. And just a wonderful story. And I'll just, just so you know that at least there is a pilgrimage site there, I'll just share with you a couple of pictures. Here is the outer crypt in the sanctuary of um, Holywell, or Holywell. And here is the chapel that is there. Um, and here's another view of it. You can see the waters. So I just find... Um, the, I love to go to see the ancient ruins of monasteries and so forth, particularly in Wales, and particular one I love to go to, too, actually, in Cardigan. Um, that's just something so special to me ever since I've been a teenager. I've <clears throat> visited there many times. But now, perhaps, in closing, and with that in mind, uh, you'd like to join me for just a short prayer as we prepare for our rest and sleep. First of all, the collect for today, St. Winifred Virgin, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of steadfast love, who graciously revealed the beauty of virginity when you willed that your Son should be born, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, grants we pray that as we honour the memory of your Holy Virgin Winifred, we may at her intercession enjoy your gifts of healing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> And if you'd like to join me with our closing prayers, let us just reflect on this day to examine the examinen. Never say that right. And it's, of course, from St. Ignatius Loyola. We're not going to go through the whole thing, but just a few points perhaps you'd like to quietly reflect, as I do as well, on these points. <sighs> Let us recall God's presence here with us now. Lord have mercy.
let us respond to him with thanks. Christ has mercy. Let us reflect on God's revelation to us today. The Lord has mercy. We pause to quietly repent of our failures. Christ have mercy. And we thank him for forgiving us. Lord, have mercy. As we lay aside our wills, may we grow in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Amen. For God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love and of power and of a sound mind. Amen. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Watch and guard me through the night. Wake me with the morning light to live each day and glorify his name. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you May his face shine upon you and give you his peace now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.